Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you all i hope you are doing well i am very happy to take a class after a long time in front of you and i hope you are also happy you know we are passing through a pandemic uh, due to covid 19 and it is not easy to take the classes in the regular system so in this uh, situation we are taking a online classes and already you are used to in this system and it will be easy to you if you give the full concentration and then you will learn more things from this system dear students today we will start chapter 8 and you know what is the name of this chapter yes the name of this chapter is the universe Let's start. Today, I will discuss about the universe from chapter eight. Let's start the universe. Look at the sky. What do you see? We see sun and the clouds in the sky. We see the moon and stars in. night sky now the question comes what is universe go to the page number 60 in your textbook last para the universe is made up of everything that exists including galaxies stars planets space all matter and energy so you know the definitions of the universe no one knows for sure how big the universe is because the scientists believed that the universe is expanding with the time go back to the page number 56 and 57 from these pages we will learn about the moon what is the moon and the phases of the moon the moon is a space object that moves around the earth it is a large sphere made of rock materials it does not have its own light when it reflects the sunlight we can see the moon from the earth we can see hills mountains and valleys on the moon with a telescope have you seen the changing shapes of the moon yes you can see the changing shapes of the moon but how if you look at the night sky and observe the moon with your parents brother or sister continue to observe the moon and draw the shape of it every day for 2 weeks then you will observe the changing shapes of the moon science is very interesting subject because this is closely related in your real life now i will explain the phases of the moon please all of you give attention now follow the picture of your textbook page 57 let's start new moon in this phase we do not see the lighted part of the moon that means the moon is fully dark this is the new moon after the new moon comes waxing crescent waxing means increasing the light in this phase we see some lighted part like a crescent then comes first quarter in this phase we can see the half lighted part after the first quarter comes 
waxing gibbous. We can see more than half lighted part in this phase. And after the waxing gibbous comes full moon. Full moon, we can in, in this phase, we can see the full lighted part of the moon. After full moon, light decreases. The decreasing of the light is waning phases. And after the full moon comes waxing, waning gibbous. We cannot see some part of the moon. We can see more than half lighted part. And after waning gibbous comes last quarter, the light of the half part decreases. So we can see half of the lighted part. And uh, finally comes warning crescent. Most of the light will decrease. Only we can see very small lighted part like crescent shape. In this way, the moon complete eight phases. And the phases of the moon repeat in every 28 days. The changing shapes of the bright part of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. Now, page 58. Solar system. What is the solar system? The solar system is made up of the sun. All the planets and other objects such as asteroids, comets, dust and gas. You know what is asteroids? Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the sun. They are much smaller than planets. Comets A comet is an icy small solar system body that when passing close to the sun, warms and begins to release gases. This produces a visible atmosphere and sometimes also a tail. A planet is a large object in space that moves around the sun. A planet does not produce light of its own. Our Earth is one of the planets of the solar system. The moon is the only satellite of the Earth. So, you know about the solar system. And also you know about the asteroids, comets, planets, etc. Planets in the solar system. There are eight planets in the solar system such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in order from closest to the furthest from the sun. Now can you say which one is the nearest planet to the sun? Yes, Mercury. And which one is the biggest planet? Jupiter. And which planet has the ring? Gas ring? Yes, Saturn. So, in this way, you can describe the planet. Okay. So, how many planets in our solar system? There are eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And the different planets has the different shapes and size. Have you ever seen any planet? Yes, we can see Venus in the sky, either in the west in the evening, known as the evening star. Or in the east before the sunrise known as the morning star. Venus is the brightest planet in the solar system that we can observe. Page 59 and 60. 
Now I will explain about galaxies, stars and constellation. At first comes galaxy. What is galaxy? A galaxy is a huge group of stars and system. The sun and the planets are part of the solar system. The solar system is a part of a large group called a galaxy. The stars and planets that you see at night are in the Milky Way galaxy. Milky Way galaxy is spiral shaped stars. A star is a huge ball of burning gases that gives off light, heat and other energy. The sun is a star in the solar system. Other stars look much smaller than the sun because they are further away. There are numerous stars in the sky. We observe that stars form patterns in the night sky. A pattern of stars with shapes like an animal, person or object is called a constellation. Orion is such kind of a constellation. So, what is the constellation? And this is very much interesting thing. Constellation is a pattern of stars with shapes like an animal, person or object is called a constellation. There are the three examples of constellation. Orion Pegasus and Great Bear. In your page number 59, have you seen the diagram of the constellations? Yes. How does the Orion look? It looks like a hunter. How does the Pegasus look? It looks like a wing horse how does the great bear look it looks like a bear so you got the idea about the constellation dear students today we have learned a lot of things about the universe like what is the universe what does the universe contain like the solar system planets, satellites, galaxies and the phases of the moon and the more I think the more interesting thing is the constellations. So we know about the universe. Thank you so much for your attention. Stay home, stay safe. Hoping a good health and good days of you all.